Time is running out. Climate change isn't going to wait for our negotiations to finish. We're going to be seeing our seasons changing, our rainfall patterns will change, and we'll see more and more extreme weather. So more drought, more floods, more hurricanes, cyclones, the sorts of things that we've been seeing more and more over the last few years. But that's going to get even worse. That's going to get even more frequent and more intense. There's an alarm bell that needs to be ringing in the offices of every single minister that's arriving at these talks. A four degree world is nothing recognisable. For the livelihoods of millions of people that depend on agriculture, they will not be able to sustain themselves. There is real potential here to develop a scheme that raises finance from the international shipping sector, which is a really dirty sector. It emits a lot of emissions and contributes to global warming. I'm excited that this issue of a small charge on shipping has come this far. To be able to fill the fund with money will make a significant difference in the lives of women, men, children, their families and their communities around the world. And for the poorest countries negotiating this process, that has to be a thick red line. How can they be expected to come here to fight for their existence and the livelihoods of millions, billions of people on this continent and around the world that are dependent on agriculture for their lives and livelihoods? How can we accept an agreement at the end of this week that says, you know what, we're not going to do anything more to reduce our emissions before 2020. This is it. What we agreed in 2009 and reaffirmed last year, that's it. It's a decade of inaction. This is about lives. We've got to have hope. That's why we're all here. That's why we're pressing people in COP17, the leaders in COP17, to really take decisive action. That's going to see us survive.